Wow, we definitely had a cold and wet weekend uh, this past weekend, and we definitely had some phone calls come in about heat pumps freezing up, uh, especially when it was raining uh, and so messy outside. So uh, a couple things I wanted to share, uh, some things to look for and, and be on the lookout for uh, if you do have a heat pump. So ice buildup on the heat pump, or frost rather, is a, a normal thing that happens uh, with a heat pump. So when that unit's running and it's in that uh, reverse cycle, so to speak, uh, that coil outside is cold and it's trying to get as much heat out of that air outside as it, as it can. And it does freeze up, especially when it's cold outside. But that unit does have a defrost cycle where it basically runs in the air conditioning mode uh, and it doesn't, it turns the fan off outside and that allows that unit to thaw out. And usually about every hour to two hours, depending on what style unit you have, uh, what brand it is, uh, but it should it should thaw out. So a couple of things, and I'm going to insert some pictures in this video. Uh, but again, some frosting on a unit is normal. But if you start getting ice buildup, uh, could be a couple of things going on, uh, or several. Uh, could have a refrigerant charge issue. Uh, there could be a problem with the uh, control board in the unit, not allowing it to defrost like it should. Uh, that board also has sensors on it uh, that it gets temperature readings from, and if it's not getting the correct readings, that can also cause it not to, not to defrost correctly. Uh, one other thing that uh, can especially happen like, like this past weekend is if that unit is placed in an area where it may be getting water runoff either from a home that doesn't have gutters on it or maybe it does have gutters but they're stopped up um, but if you do get gutters that are stopped up and you have water runoff uh, from the roof from either either option uh, if that water is running down on top of that unit uh, it will cause it to uh, build up ice more than it can do and get rid of uh, by going through a defrost cycle. So if that is the case, uh, either doing something to eliminate that water from getting on top of the unit or even if the unit has to be relocated, you don't want that water uh, coming off your roof and, and hitting the top of it. So those are a few things to, to watch out and look out for. And again, normal frosting, maybe a little ice buildup. If it does build up during a, a bad weather event like we had, uh, a lot of times you can just set your unit to emergency heat and, and let it run for a little while uh, and give it a chance to uh, thaw out on its own when the temperature warms up a little bit uh, or at least wait till it till it stops raining and then switch it back to normal heat and that'll that'll uh, should take care of it hey guys don't forget please like us on Facebook and check us out on our YouTube channel and make sure you hit that subscribe button Thank you again.